on this episode of Gadget. We're bringing HD to your desktop or your laptop with the PCTV HD Pro Stick from Pinnacle Systems. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Go to gateway.com to see what they can do for you. Welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here again in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, I need to start off by saying Happy Easter. Even if you don't believe as I do, even if you don't believe... We're all geeks, it's all good, and I hope that this time has been a time of celebration, of relaxation, of friends and family. Now we've got a little gadget here today from our friends over at Pinnacle, who have sent us one of the tuners in their line of USB HD devices. Now, you know, Pinnacle has been known for the longest time in the enthusiast world because they brought us some of the very first units, low-cost consumer-based units that could take video and put it onto your computer. I mean, before them, people with Amiga video toasters or professional high-end gear were able to do that, but it was out of the reach of the, the average consumer. Well, they introduced a product like the Dazzle, which was the first low-cost, easy-to-use device which would shuffle your data, your video from your VCR, from your, your camcorder into your computer and allow you to edit it. And for those of us who had never done that before, it was, it was a paradigm breaker. It was a, a mind-blowing shift in what you could do with your own content. Well, they're trying to follow up with that success by introducing a line of uh, devices that allow you to get HD TV and um, other composite signals onto your computer. Now, this may look a little bit like a toy. It may look like a big thumb drive, but uh, the question is, is this really an HD tuner with everything that we've come to expect from HD? The high-quality video, the high-quality audio, or is it a toy? We've had a couple of days to take a look at this, and, uh, well, this is what we found. The Pinnacle PCTV HD Pro Stick is the mid-range model of Pinnacle's line of USB HD tuner products. Compatible with Windows XP or Vista, this diminutive device is not much bigger than a USB flash drive, yet it can deliver high-quality HD programming to your desktop or laptop. It supports both analog NTSC and digital ATSC signals, either over the air or through a dedicated cable. If you use the ATSC option, you can get up to 1080i resolution. Great news for those who have been yearning for HD TV. Out of the box, the ProStick has everything that you need to get your computer up and running in HD. That includes the USB Pro Stick HD tuner, a remote control, the breakout cables, and an antenna for picking up broadcast TV signals in analog or digital. The Pro Stick has the ability to accept video from three different inputs. There is a standard coax port on the bottom of the unit for use with the included antenna or your cable system. On the side of the Pro Stick, there is a breakout port that allows you to plug in external video sources. A breakout dongle includes RCA and S video ports as well as a single mini stereo plug for audio. The top of the unit sports a standard USB plug for interfacing the unit with your computer, and the included antenna is comprised of two parts, a magnetic base and a screw-on extendable aerial. The remote control is quite possibly one of the cutest little controls that we've ever received with a piece of gear. It's about the same size as the Pro Stick, and it's powered by two AAA batteries. It has all the buttons that you need to control your Pro Stick, including power, volume, channel, and the recording functions. Setting up the Pro Stick is simple. Install the included Pinnacle TV Center Pro software, then plug in the Pro Stick into a USB port. Upon startup, TV Center Pro will automatically determine the type of system that you're connected to and start a channel scan. You can also do this setup manually if you are a more advanced user or if you have difficulty with the auto detect feature. When you do scan for channels, the software will automatically set up internet radio, log your available analog and digital channels, and set up the preferences for your electronic programming guide. When using the ProStick software, 
you are given a screen that matches your programming with the EPG and gives you a signal strength signal quality meter. When we connected the included aerial antenna, we found that there were some really bad channels and some really good channels. No surprise there. However, when we did find a strong digital channel, we were blown away by the quality of the HD signal. When we connected the ProStick to our digital cable system, the quality only improved. The recording feature of the ProStick is well implemented. TV Center Pro can download an electronic programming guide that will give you a program schedule for your area up to 14 days in advance. You can then choose which shows you want to record and customize options like pre-roll and post-roll. You can also choose to record manually by clicking the button in TV Center Pro or by pressing the record button on the remote. TV Center Pro can record in a variety of formats including MPEG-2, Direct-to-DVD, Video CD, Super Video CD, DivX, PSP, and iPod file formats. This means that you can easily record your favorite shows and build up a stable of high quality recordings for your own personal library in whatever format you choose. It's like a TiVo, but much, much more flexible. You can also use this same interface to record video from the S-Video and RCA inputs on the breakout cable. You can use these inputs to connect the ProStick to dedicated cable or satellite boxes, as well as any analog video source that you might have. Using the ProStick on our Gateway M151X notebook, we were able to play a few rounds of Smash Brothers without any discernible lag, stutter, or video distortion. The ProStick is also fully compatible with Windows Media Center. This means that you can integrate the recording ability of the ProStick with the rest of your media library. This works especially well if you are a Vista user and have your music, movies, and video clips already indexed into your media center. For those who want a few more editing options, the ProStick comes bundled with Pinnacle's Studio Quick Start. This basic software suite allows you to easily trim and edit your recordings. It's not the most advanced package on the market, but it is more than enough for those who are looking to edit out commercials, throw together a few YouTubeable videos, or otherwise use the inputs to put together a few clips. The Pinnacle PC TV HD USB Pro Stick is available now online for between $80 and $100. I think it's pretty obvious that Pinnacle has put in the design and engineering time into making their HD TV line of USB tuners the best possible products that they could be. I mean, they're small, they're light, they're easy to set up, they're very high quality. I mean, we are actually capturing this video right now, this HD video, and uh, there's no stutter, there's no lag, there's uh, there's nothing but just clear, clear signal. And this is over an aerial. Anyone who lives in a crowded city knows how difficult it can be to use broadcast antennas to, to try to get HD digital signals. This could possibly be the new must-have tool for mobile professionals. Not only would you be able to watch HDTV, not only would you be able to get your entertainment, not only would you be able to record and build a library of high-quality videos, but the, uh, the input, the ability to take your RCA uh, composite input or your, your super video input and make your own recordings just makes this a very flexible gadget. That isn't to say that it's not without its faults. The only real fault that we could see as far as our review was concerned is the, uh, the amount of horsepower, the amount of firepower that you need to make it work properly. You saw that we were able to use it with our Wii to play Super Smash Brothers. Well, what we've done is we've actually dropped down the processor speed of this Gateway Notebook in order to make it feel and seem like a slower notebook. And as you can see in the screen behind me, after we've hooked it up to a composite camera, there's a little bit of lag, there's a little bit of stutter. And what's happening is it just can't keep up with all the data that it's receiving unless you have a, a, a workhorse of a desktop or a notebook. If you're thinking about running this on an old 386 or even a, an old Pentium 4, you're really not going to be happy with the results. I mean, you'll be able to watch HDTV. You might even be able to capture, but when you try to use it as a monitor or an analog input, you're going to get these issues. And, well, you're not going to be happy, and it's going to be through no fault of the product. But beyond that, we were really, really impressed by the quality, the video and the audio quality, the smoothness, the, 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 just the features that they've packed into this, this little diminutive device. This might be the thing for you if you're looking to add HD to your computer or uh, to, to build up your own personal library of videos that you can carry around for your PSP or your iPod. If you want to find out more about these devices, you can go to the Pinnacle website at www.pinnaclesys.com and just look for the PCTV line 
of HD tuners. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about any of the products that we've reviewed on the show, you can go to www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find links for all of our high-resolution episodes. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Ballasare. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.